here are my tables. If I want to enter any information in here, I could go into a table such as this one for friends here. I'm going to just double click to open it. And I could start entering the information. And if I start putting the information in, you'll notice one problem is that the information scrolls all the way across and I would have to scroll across to keep putting information in. And that's not really convenient. It's not a really great layout for doing that. So I might want to consider other ways that I could input information and really and truly the best way to do this is through a form. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to create a form here and I can do that by going into insert and choosing form. I could choose auto form if I want to create one really quickly. However, there is another button here. If I click back on my friends table, there is this new object button and by default you can see that it says there on the tip new object auto form. So if I was to click directly on that it would create an auto form. If I click on the arrow you'll see it gives the same options that I had if I went over to here and chose it from here in the insert menu. This one's a little bit more convenient but it doesn't matter which one you use. Just so you can see what an auto form does, I'm going to click on it. It will create a form and you can see more of this form here and you can see it's got all that information in a nice layout in a column so I can see all my information at once and I can just enter that information in there and alter it. So the auto form puts it down in columns and it just takes all of the fields and inserts them there. My drop down boxes have come along. They're a little bit more obvious as well than if I'm using them in the table. So that's one way I could do it. If I just move this down just a little further you'll see that it's got the record navigation here as well for moving backwards and forwards through the records. Here is this button for putting in a new record. So if I click on new, if I just move this up a bit again, I could do the same thing again. Mr. And I can just use the tab key to move through my fields. I can do that on the table as well. So if I wanted to move backwards I can use shift tab as well. So I can go through and enter the information in the same way. You'll see I can very quickly just tick and untick, enter dates and things like that. So all sorts of information can be entered in. So that is a form, but you might want to select what you want to see on this form here. You may not want to see the friend ID. We could just go and amend this but we'll be taking a look at forms later. And you'll see here it's actually come up with, as I go to close it, do I want to save this form? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that and auto form, so I know that that's where it was created from. Click on OK. And now I'm going to create one using the form wizard. Again, I could go into the insert menu, but I like using my little button here. I'm going to go down this list and choose form. And I get the new form dialog box and here is the form wizard. Now we had auto form before and you'll see it's got different auto forms for doing it in columns, table, style, a data sheet which just looks like a table and there's two others here, pivot table and pivot chart. And there's a chart wizard and pivot table wizard for creating different forms as well. I am going to go for this form wizard here. It's telling me that this is the table where it's getting the information from. And that's good. If I hadn't chosen the table first, I could just go here and choose the one I want, but I'm going to leave it on that. I'm going to click on OK. And it fires up the form wizard. And you'll see again, it allows me to just check that I've got the table, the correct one here. Forms can be created from tables or queries, but we just have queries in here at the moment. And here are all of my fields. So I said that I wanted to include all of them, but I don't really need the friend ID. So what I can do is just select the field I want, click on this arrow pointing to the right, and it adds it into my selected fields list here. And I could keep going through that list. I can actually double click it, and also I can change the order. So if I wanted to put the mobile first now, and then the telephone number, they may have been in a different order on a table, and I want them in a different order on the form. So I can just 
quickly double click these to add them in. If there's any here I didn't want I can just use this left pointing arrow or if I want to take all of them back I can use this double left pointing arrow here. Now actually if I only had one I didn't want I would have taken the whole lot over by clicking on this button, gone back up to the top here and double clicked on my friend ID to take that back. So that's got all the fields that I need. Even though this field is not going to be seen on the form, it will still be generated on the table in the background. So I'm just going to click on Next. Here you can choose the style of your form. They've got uh, in this one here, Columna, which is putting it in a column just like we looked at before. Tables where it goes across but also has that nice background. Data sheets, as I mentioned, that there looks just like a table. Here's the table one again. And you've also got Justified, which is like the table one. It goes across and then down onto the next row to keep adding records in as well. So this one here and these two here are good for seeing multiple records at the same time. I'm going to click on Next. This is where you can choose one of the built-in styles that they have. You can see it's purely down to choice. I'm going to go for Standard. I'd like to often make changes to it afterwards. Click on Next. What title do I want for my form? That's what's going to appear at the top of the form and it's also going to be the name of the form. I'm just going to call it Friends. I now get two choices. I can open the form to see what's going on or I can modify the form's design. I like to have a look at the form straight up so I can see what it looks like. I could get more help by ticking on this box but I'm not going to. I'm just going to hit finish and there you'll see it's created a form for me in a nice layout. I actually have this one selected in the justified layout and you'll see that as I tab across I can enter in the information. That's a nice layout. I can see everything all in one go. If I was to go back to the tables just so that you can see it's not so easy to read. Okay, If I move across I could have a lot more information by looking at my form. So that is one way of creating forms using the form wizard in Access. There are other forms we can do and we can take a look at those another time.